He hit one, kept going. Hit two, kept going. Hit three, kept going all the way down the street. She fought for the victims of the Waukesha parade attack. There's overwhelming evidence that this was an intentional act by Daryl Brooks. And one, sealing a conviction and six life sentences for Daryl Brooks. Most prosecutors around the country never have to deal with a mass casualty event, thankfully. Um, so for us to, to do this and conquer it and, and succeed, is uh, satisfying. Three decades in the DA's office, culminating with three weeks of a trial no one will soon forget. Yeah, I mean, this will be the pinnacle of my career no matter what happens in the remaining two years here. Opper is set to retire in 2024. Your actions are that of a murderer. Was there a moment that, to you, stood out more than any other? Well, there's a couple of things, actually. It's hard to pick just one. Opper says Brooks's behavior in court was the most serious challenge. The ones that would stand up to him and say, you, Daryl Brooks, you are the man that did this. We felt the strength of those witnesses um, that would, would confront him and, and kind of um, not let him, you know, play these games with his words. So those moments were very impactful. And what moments did you have to bite your tongue? I wanted to confront him. I did. I did. I looked at him head on because I wanted him to, whatever you have to say, say it to my face. She's ultimately pleased with the ending. To be able to get this done within a year's time for those families was really, really um, rewarding for us. Brooks is expected to file an appeal in this case. A process DA Opper says could take months, even years. At the courthouse, I'm Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. Brooks is currently serving his life sentences at Dodge Correctional in Waupun.